Welcome to Python. Today we're going to talk about addition, joining strings or concatenating strings, or we're going to talk about numeric expressions and string expressions. So that entails addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, <coughs> modality. We're also going to talk about uh, order of operations. We're going to speak about uh, concatenating strings, concatenating strings to numbers, and then escape strings. So let's begin. Let's talk about actual arithmetic. So as you know, in most of your arith, I can spell, matic. Okay. So in most of your studies, you found it, it, throughout life that math is probably one of the most integral parts of, of, of education. And this is not any less prevalent in development uh, than it is now. So let's talk about it for a second. How do we add something in uh, Python? So let's uh, go ahead and add two numbers together. Two plus two. Now what's going to happen if I run this? Nothing. And the reason why is because I'm not telling it to give me the answer specifically. But if I came down into the shell and I said, what's two plus two? It would say it's four. Now, if I asked what three minus two is, what would the answer be? Obviously, the answer would be one. If I divided two times two using the asterisk as a multiplication delimiter, I would get four. And if I did two divided by two using the forward slash as a division delimiter or operator, I would get one. Notice it says 1.0. It turned the actual integer into the data type float. But that's neither here nor there. We're not going to go deep into the weeds on data types because in scripting languages, it's implied. So, now if I wanted to do this outside of the shell into something a little more usable, what I would actually do is say print 2 plus 2, and I should get 4. If I said print, as I did in the bottom here, 3 minus 2, I should get 4, 1. And then so on and so forth, if I do the rest of the math, 2 times 2, and then print um, 2 divided by 2. Okay. Now understand that what I'm doing here is I'm using the print, I'm using the print function to uh, display all the results that I want. I can actually not do it this way and just say, okay, I want you to print uh, var uh, sum equals two plus two. Thus, what I'm doing here is everything on the right hand side of this expression here. So if I just do that, and I'm moving a little quickly, and so I'm, let me slow down. What I just did there was I created a variable called sum. I actually don't need to say var sum. I can say sum. And I said I want to assign 2 plus 2, the, the equivalent of 2 plus 2, into the variable sum. If I then tried to look at what is in sum and then uh, decidedly uh, comment all those functions out so they don't run, uh, I should get 4. And I do. Now, what just happened? What, well, what happened was, is that the computer did the mathematical expression of 2 plus 2. It then took the answer 2 plus 2 and it assigned it to the variable sum. Whatever's on the left-hand side can be any name you want. I can name this x and it will still be 4. Because whatever's on the right-hand side of the, exp the, the uh, expression, or the algorithm, if you will, is going to be assigned to the, the left-hand side of the algorithm. Unlike in math, where we usually write, you know, uh, 2 plus 2 equals 4. In computer science, we work from right to left. And the reason why that is is because you cannot assign a value, if I said sum or even x here, I can't assign a value to a variable or a thing until that thing is created. So, because in computer science and in programming, everything is re read by the program from left to right, what needs to happen first is that the variable is created or in computer science terms and initialized and then you can say okay I want to put a specific value into the variable X and that's the way it actually works so if I said print X and uh, let me do that if I said print X what will essentially happen is the print function will fire first and then it will bring along its parameter X and then do its little magic and print it in the shell as you see down here there's one more algorithmic equation I'm sorry, there's one more arithmetic operator that I didn't go over yet, and that's called modality. What modality is, and let me get rid of that for a second so I can show you. Modality is what you learned in uh, third grade, which is remainder of. So if I said three percent sign two, what I'm actually asking the computer to do is give me the remainder of this, the uh, 
I think it's called modality. Hold on a second. Let me make sure I'm saying that correctly. Uh, remainder of. Just to make sure I'm not saying a word that's not true. I think it's called modality. Modulus, right. Yeah. Okay, well, not modality, but modulus. Modulus basically means remainder of. Now, there's individuals out there that will argue that, but basically it just means remainder of. So what I should get is 1, because 3 divided by 2 is two remain is 1 remainder 1. If I said um, I want 17 uh, remainder 16, I should get 1 again, because 17 remainder 16 is 1 remainder 1. If I said 17 remainder 4, I should get 4 remainder 1, or just 1. Because it's going to give me the remainder of whatever is there. It's quite nice when you're trying to do specific addition for odd numbers and what and what and whatnot. So this is how numeric expressions operate, and uh, I will say this are numeric expressions. Now, now that we did that, I'm going to comment these out because I really don't want them to run, and I'm going to do concatenation or string expressions. Now I use a big word. Oh, wow, excuse me. I call this arithmetic. And if I'm not spelling that right, then, you know, I, I'll take the hit. So, concatenation basically is the same thing as arithmetic. The only difference is, is what you're doing is you're taking two strings and you're just putting them together. Kind of like Lego pieces. So, if I said I had a uh, name equals John, ooh, John, uh, Joe, yeah, John plus Doe. What should I get? So let's print this. So I'm going to print the name that's in the variable, or I'm going to print the variable name that contains the string concatenation of John and Doe. What should I get? John Doe without a space in between because I didn't tell it to put a space in between. Now, what just happened? Well, this is a string. This is called a string literal. And what it actually does is whatever is in between these double quotes is now a string and forever and anon will be a string until we tell it not to be. What a string is, is the same thing as what an integer or a float is, is what, I, what I was speaking about earlier. It's a data type. So there's many different data types in computer, in computer programming, in, in, in computer science, in programming itself, in developing. And the four that we really major on are, or five I should say, is string, which you're seeing here. Anything in between these quotes is a string, and basically it's, it's just a printout. Okay, it's a printout like a PDF. Um, there is no value, well, there is a value associated with these characters, but there's no numeric value associated with them specifically. There's a numeric value associated with them based on ASCII too, but that's deeper into the weeds on something that's not relevant at this moment. What we're speaking about is what this actually means. It just means the characters D, O, and E. More specifically, it means the characters capital D, little case O, lowercase O, and lowercase E. That's all it means. It means absolutely nothing else. A string is just a, is, is a, is a, is a, concatenation if you will concatenation means to bring together a concatenation of many characters and if you took c you would know that there are no strings in c the reason why is because only characters exist so in order to make a string you have to take different characters and concatenate them together in in higher level languages and scripting languages like python there are strings because putting characters together to make a string are is just asinine and it's a pain so in this case we have the string john and you can denote a string once again by the beginning quote and the ending quote. Now, you might be asking, well, why is there an addition sign? Why is there a plus sign in the middle of these two strings? Because the operators for uh, concatenating strings are essentially the same as the operators for uh, adding two numbers together. So in this case, it's John and Doe. If I wanted to put a space in between John and Doe, I need to add another character to, the, to John, which would just be a space. The space is actually captured by the string. So if I save that, run it, now I get John space Doe. And that's how string concatenations work. Now, let's take this a step further. <clears throat> we can do math on two different numbers. We can concatenate two separate strings. But what happens when I try to add an integer, which these were integers, you see there's no uh, quotes around these numbers, to a string, which you can see here is a string because there are quotes around these characters. Let's try. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I am going to say uh, stir number, string number, is what that I'm trying to say there. And then I'm going to say equals 1 plus 1. 
print str number. Now, what do you think I'm going to get? Am I going to get two? Actually, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm going to get an error. And the error is that a string cannot be added to an integer. Now, in other scripting languages, you can add a string to an integer, but what it will do is it will convert one of the numbers to a string and give you 11 because it's going to concatenate two strings. And let me see if I can try to make that happen. Nope, it's going to keep on giving me that error. Unsupported operand types for integer and string. Let me see if I'm missing something. Maybe there's a way to do this and I'm just missing it. <clears throat> nope, there isn't. Okay, cool. So in this case, what happens when I try to concatenate or when I try to, um, let me see if I can comment this out and let's play a game or kind of play a game. If I wanted to say string numbers, what happens if I try to add two string numbers together? String numbers equals one plus one print str number what's going to happen here is it going to be two or is it going to be one or is it is it going to be two or is it going to be something else remember what happened up here with john doe because the string john was being concatenated with the string doe it didn't add john to doe it put those two things together so what i should get is 11 if it runs why is it doing that oh right because it's string numbers 11 because it, all it did was concatenate one and one. So actually it's not 11, it's one one. Because one is a string and one is a string. If I want these to be added together, I need to remove the quotes from around the numbers and I will get the number two. I know that might be a little confusing and it can probably, probably drive some of you a bit crazy. And don't worry, it drives a lot of us crazy too because sometimes we just don't see the data types as they're being created in the code. but. Those are the way those things, th that is the way those things work. All right, so the last thing I wanna talk about are escaped strings. What are escape strings? And how do they work? So an escape string is a string where the quotation marks are not used at all. How do we do that? Okay, well, I can show you an example. So. You have a couple of, of escape string. You have a couple of a, a couple of escape strings. Oh man, words are failing me. A couple of a couple of escape strings that are integral to doing certain things in your code. If if I said <clears throat> um, esc string, escape string, if you will. Oh, also remember that everything you type in Python or any scripting language for that matter is case sensitive. Notice I'm not doing camel case. I'm only using lowercase. It is best practice in all scripting language to, languages to only use lowercase. Try to refrain from using capital and lowercase in scripting languages because it's very easy to mess up your code if you don't remember the case that you wrote or you cased it wrong or whatever the case may be. So, esc string or escape string, and I'm going to write a string value here. I'm going to say, hello, my name is prof or Dr. Dev. <clears throat> and I said, I want to print ask string. What do you think is going to happen? Will the string print? And what will happen to the string? Well, backspace or back, uh, backslash in actually means new line. So I'm going to get a new line printed under hello, uh, my name is Dr. Dev. And if you look down here, you can see that hello, and then it breaks the line. My name is Dr. Dev. Now, why did that happen? This backspace here denotes <clears throat> denotes an escape string that's what it means escape the string in front of me or escape the character i'm next to so i'm going to escape and then the letter in basically means break the line let's take this a step further let's do something that might be more mm, something that you might use in everyday life so escape string and this time i'm going to use something that you guys know very well um windows what do you think is going to happen here? Is this going to work? It did, which is actually rather odd because in C sharp, it doesn't work that way. Let me see if I can try something else. Uh, something that might matter to you. Ah, here we go. 
Uh, my fellow Bob. And then I want to put quotes around Bob. All right. I want the quotes around Bob to show up. If I ran this, it's not going to work because it really doesn't know what I'm asking it to do because the string around my fellow and then the string around here is really not, you see how the colors are changing and it's making it all weird. But I still want to put quotes around the word Bob because I want to bring a, uh, I want to bring it out. I want people to see it. In order to do that, I have to escape the characters that are around Bob. I don't want those characters to be used in a specific manner. So in this case, if I want to escape the double quotes, I would use the backslash in front of the character I want to escape from the string. Now, what does that really mean? It means ignore it. Escape strings are strings that are ignored. So when I put a backspace in front of or a backslash in front of this double quotes, it ignores the double quotes. It treats the double quotes like they're not even there, which is fine because in the string, the characters are not really any valid character. You can put anything in there. It doesn't matter. It will print it because strings are just a printout of whatever you want it to be. So in this case, I can use backspace and backspace to escape these two double quotes. And now I'll get my fellow in quotation marks, Bob. And that's how escape strings work. And that's like a little do out. If you want more information about how to escape strings, how to do numeric expressions, string expressions, and string, uh, string number expressions, don't hesitate to reach out and look at W3 schools online or any other of the wonderful uh, uh, Python repositories that can give you the keys to success uh, and help you learn more about what your true ambitions are, which is to learn how to develop. Well, either way, this has been fun. I'm Dr. Dev, and as I say in all of my videos, I hope that you like what you see, and if you do, subscribe. And if you really, really like, well, I should say if you like what you see, like, and if you really like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm Dr. Dev, and I will see you next time.